everyone, Master Robert here from CapturedComputers.com.au Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running you through uh, gameplay from a game called, well, from Sky Train Studios. As you can see right there, here it is, Cloud Spin. Now Cloud Spin is a game that's available right now on the iOS, um, iTunes uh, store. It is um, $1.99, if you want to call it, within uh, the AU uh, department. Uh, uh, Australian that is, $1.99, called Cloud Spin. So it's developed uh, for the iPad uh, and using the Unreal Engine. Now, uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through a bit of gameplay. There's two different type of modes. Um, and the, uh, I'll run through those two now. It's one's tournament and one is free flight. Now the tournament is, if you want to call it, like a, it's a, a style of a storyline kind of, or if you want to call it like, you know, cam campaign. But there actually isn't a story towards the game. Unfortunately there's no, you know, you don't hear a mission or anything that comes along the lines of, you know, oh, do this, do that, there's someone talking to you or anything like that. It's not much really in terms of uh, storyline. It's more like gameplay and that's pretty much it. So there's two different type of gameplays. Uh, tournament and free flight. That's basically what I said. Free flight, you fly around and collect things in the sky, um, which you will see when I run through it. Uh, and the tournament, you just run through. Uh, if you want to call it like a mm, uh, a whole, if you want to, uh, how do I how do I explain it? We'll run through and I I will explain it to you. Pretty much, I'll run through the the first one, which is called Cloud Highway. So it's it's like a racing game if you want to call it, but you're not racing against you're racing against anybody else, but you're just racing against yourself. So that is pretty much it. So what we'll do is uh, I'll start through the first level. The first level uh, is more like a tutorial, uh, and you you do um, basically it tells you what you've got to do and how you've got to play. It's more and the way it works is you work it works with a finger one finger to control moving left and right up and down and the other two fingers uh, and, the, and and like pressing two fingers at the same time makes you accelerate so you're controlling a little bunny so as you can see I'm I'm moving the screen as basically says swipe anywhere on the screen to move so I'm moving up and down as you can see graphics are, uh, are very very nice they're very smooth and placing down a second finger will actually make you go fast. Now I, I've had problems of just pushing with one finger. It's not doesn't that doesn't work like that. As you can see, I've got to put two fingers at the same time. And uh, what I'm what basically the way it works is you've got to try your best to go through, collect all the things you can like. As basically you saw on the screen is if you get close to the ground or close to specific things, you get bonuses as well. So collecting, um, as you can see, I've got a multiplier at the moment up in the top top right hand corner as you can see I've got multipliers uh, and the, the more you the, the closer you get to specific uh, things the, the better your bonus multiplier be, becomes as you can see um, I'm flying through certain things just picking up a star and keep picking up coins with the multiplier you try and get very good scores that's pretty much the 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 objective of the game really just try not to you've got also health which is like uh, the amount of times you can hit things and that is in the bottom right hand corner as you can see uh, you probably won't be able to see it because of the screen is pretty large uh, so yeah collecting coins increases your multiplier and collecting uh, stars makes gives you a better score rating as you can see right there I've just picked up another one and you've got I'm going to try and see if I can get that one on top of the train just got it and there's the coins up the top as well so basically it, it it runs for it runs on its own. This is not a free runner. Basically, what I just basically said. So the way it works is you it, it'll take you on the mission and where you've got to go, and you've just got to move left and right, up and down, collect the coins, go through the things, speed up, slow down, move up, move down, move left, move right. And as you can see, I've just finished this first level. That was it. So not too complicated. It's very simple. No story. Great music, excellent graphics. I can basically say for an iPad game running with uh, you know the Unreal Engine, it's fantastic. As you can see right now, I've just finished it. I've got a time bonus. My high score was 311,000. Now, you've got three type of things. You've got like you know, I'll basically go back to the first one. As you can see right there, that was a bronze score. And um, to get a silver, you need half a million. To get a gold you need 1.6 million. Now I really have no idea how 
that is basically, <laughs> I, I have to say, it is, you've got to be perfect in your run to get 1.6 million, and that's gold. It is very, very hard, if you want to say easy to play, as I was explaining before, uh, but hard to master. So what I'm going to do now is I'll run you through the next one, which is Devil Climb. The game, like I said, the missions don't take too long. As you can see, it just took two minutes to run through that one. So I'll run through this one here, uh, and you can see a little bit more of the game. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll run through and play a bit of uh, the um, free, free, th the free, free mode, if you want to call it free flight, which is pretty simple. All right, so let's run through it again. And as you can see, the multiplier at the top, you can see what's going on there. Try and get close to certain things. Near misses gives you best score, best points. The star chaser gives you good bonuses. So it, it all pretty much works on you remembering things. It, it, it does it does come down to kind of being uh, a memory style game as well. Like I said, it's it's not a, it's a, not a free runner as you would probably know. You got to try and get everything. I just missed a star. So as you know, like it's like damn, I missed it. So now what am I going to do? Start again? Yes, you can probably start start again. But if you're not that type of person who really doesn't care about oh, I'm going to really going to be missing this. I'm going to be missing that. Just miss. There you go. I just missed a star. As you said, if I missed a star, then I could have to start again. But as you said, there's as I said, there's basically different things. Missed another star. So, as you know, you can try and get through the levels, but some levels, even though if you finish them, it's not going to be enough. So you are going to have to do your best and try and get a really good score because you need a minimum of a, a, a bronze to pass and go through specific levels. So if you don't, um, if you don't unlock specific levels uh, with a certain amount of score, you, you're going to have to keep on doing them again. And the good thing about it is, you know, the game is not free. It's a dollar ninety-nine, so therefore, you know, there's no hidden in-app purchases, which is fantastic in this game. I can basically say that at least this one is okay. It's free. It's not free, but you, whatever. You, when you pay for it, you get the entire full game. And I could say at least you've got it and you can enjoy it, and uh, you don't have to worry about oh, I'm going to have to buy this, so I'm going to have to buy that. You don't need to do that. So that's the great thing. As you said, I'm just nearly finishing this level right now. I've got a 15 multiplier right now. And basically the multiplier works on getting as many stars, as, uh, coins as possible, plus getting close to certain things, and that helps you do. So that finishes that second level. Not too complicated. Uh, and as you can see, you, I did have a bit of health. I actually used all, I didn't use all my health at all, so I didn't hit anything, which was fantastic. But you do get three health chances if you want hit things if you don't if you hit them uh, then you'll fail the, the mission you have to start again so I got um, nearly close to half a million that still gave me only a bronze so silver is 700 and this one here gold is 1.4 million and I have to say it is very 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 hard so basically the next one was the next one well this one here is uh, dragon run and that one is the uh, one I'm actually on right now, which is Canyon Blast. There are a total of six. There's Drop Zone, Lucky Wall, and Victory Row. So basically, as I said, I was saying there's no storyline to the game, but it's a great flight, you know, racing style game. So then there's basically also Free Flight. So what I'll do is I'll run you through Free Flight. I'll take you through the training skies. The training flight is really, really easy. As I said, the Cosmo Lookout as well as the Eagle Veil work in the same way. You've got to collect presents. Um, and I've already got five. I've, got, I've already got ten out of fifteen. So I'm going to just jump into that one. And I'll just basically show you how, you know, how it works. Uh, now with Free Flight, you fly anywhere you want. This one here is not on rails as the other one is. You just basically, of course, the tournament is on rails really if you want to call it. Where you go anywhere you want. This one here, you control it as you wish. And then you basically try and collect... Ooh, there you go. I failed that one pretty bad. Alright, let's try again. So that one there, as you can see, there, there was a, a um, present. I already collected that present. As you can see, it was like in a funny shade. Um, but I'll try and see if I can get it just to show you what I'm trying to say. Oops. There you go. Just go on right there. So as you can see, there are, there are presents which, are, which you've already collected. And as you see, they're in a different color because I've already collected them. So once you go on those little, heli uh, those little uh, fans, they help you. Pu they push you up. There was a real one. Just got one. There you go. 11 out of 15, as you can see in the top right-hand corner there. There. 
uh, 11 out of 15. So now basically all you've got to do is try and get, a, try, well basically got all, get all of them. It's not like you're going to get, uh, you know, you pa you, you, this one here I've already passed and it's already unlocked. I think I needed to get 10 and it already unlocked for me. So that this is how free mode works. Free mode works, you can basically stay forever in the air as long as you know how to, ca uh, how to control your, um, your flight path. Keeping, uh, keeping in mind that you've got to stay, hopefully stay up in the air as best as you can. You can glide, go up, as you can see, move down. The, the, the miles per hour tell, you know, tells you how, how, how fast you're going. As you can see now, I'm up to 340, now 200. So it basically works on the way you can control your uh, glider and move around. And, and uh, you can stay here as long as you like. There you go. Picked up another one right now. So as you can see, trying your... Uh, there's another... Whoop, there was just this one there. This one here I already picked up. I can see if I can try and pick this one up now. There you go. Picked it up again. So I already picked that one up, but as, at least the good thing about it is at least it tells you, okay, what you've already got. You can try and pick it up again. Go over the glider. Gives you a bit more strength. There's one right there, which I believe I already picked up. And I won't pick it up it again. I won't pick that one up again. Oop, I'm going to crash. Oop, just missed it. Oh, got it again. There you go. That's the one I picked up already before. So, at least the good thing about it is it tells you, okay, I, I've picked up this, I've picked up that. And the good thing about it is you can, you can stay here for as long as you like until you pick them all up. And if you're really good at the game, as, uh, you know, with controlling, the, with controlling your character and your glider, you can stay here for as long as you like until you finally, 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 finally pick up everything. And I've picked up, I've already picked up a few, but I need to pick up another three more. Trying to find where they are is sometimes a little bit confusing on where they are. But yeah, the glider works very simple to the way you're playing the game. You can put two fingers down as well, but basically you, really don't, really, you don't really need two fingers. You just basically need just to control yourself. Here you go. This is the one I'm in the middle. I haven't got this one yet. There you go. 13 out of 15. And I've got two more to go, which I have no clue where they are because I've already picked up a few already and I've got no idea where they are. But I keep on flying around. I'll be able to pick... There you go. There's another one right there. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to try and get it. Yeah, so basically that's it. I'm going to try and pick that one up. The thing is, some of them move. So when they move, you've really got no chance sometimes unless you jump over like a fan which helps you glide over to, to where you need to go. That one is no way, I'm nowhere near that one anymore. So now I'm gonna, if I want, I can go towards, this. basically I think I've got two more left which are on the glider. So I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can get onto the top of that, uh, the fan. That fan will help me boost myself as you've been, as you've noticed already so far. It's gonna boost me. And hopefully I can try and find that one which is some, nowhere to be seen right now. It's all the way out on the other side. So yeah, that's what that's the great thing about the glide, the, the free glide. Here you go. That's right there. There it is. See if I can get it. Can I get it? Can I get it? Got it. All right. So now I need one more, and I'll be able to finish off the uh, the, the free glide. So that is um, pretty much how the game works. It's not too complicated, as I was basically explaining. There's no storyline to the game. It's more. It's more like an enjoyable part. You know, ca casual type of game where you've got if you've got nothing else better to do, you can give it a go. Try it out, and if you're just waiting for something on the bus, or you're just waiting for something in general, just to, you know, play something when you're bored. There is the last one right there, and I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Ah, I just missed it. That's, there it is right there. So, yeah, no, that's basically how it is. Once you collect all the coins, oh, hopefully when I'll, I'll see if I can try and get this one while we guys are waiting for the game, for, for, for it to finish. So, yeah, basically, there it is. So, see, you want to try and get it? Here it comes, here it comes. Got it. There you go. Well, there you go. Basically an achievement. Find all of them in there. So that's it. I'm going to do is basically as soon as, it's, as soon as it's finished, it still doesn't finish. So I can just basically keep on playing. Jump out, go in, save and exit. And that is it. That is the game for you in a nutshell. Um, so that is basically Cloud Spin. It is available right now on the Apple iOS department, uh, iTunes Store, sorry. And uh, that is it. So apart from that, of course, you've got the... Um, Games, the Game Center scores, which you can see a whole lot of other people have been playing so far. I'm ranked pretty low, down at 91. Eh, not bad, 91 out of 1,300, pretty good. So that is it. That's Cloud Spin. So it's available right now, $1.99. If you like it, pick it up, and that's it. If I uh, leave a message on the uh, our YouTube channel, if you've got any questions or comments on the game, 
uh, we, and check us out at capturalcomputers.com.au and our YouTube channel at Capsule Computers TV. Thank you very much, and that's it. Master Rabbit signing out from capturalcomputers.com.au.